Hello everyone, so today we're going to go over section 4.1, representing percents. So first, a percent is made out of two parts, so the first part is per, which can mean for each. And the second part is cent. which has to do with 100 parts. So taken together, percent means something out of 100. When we're using diagrams to represent percents, we generally can use a 100 grid to represent 100%. So for example, this grid, if fully colored, would be equal to 100%. Notice that this is a 10 by 10 grid, and that's how we get 100 squares. So here are some familiar percents. Let's look at the first one, 50% means we shade in half of the squares. As we know, 50% is also known as one half. Now, of course, it is possible to shade in percent in different ways. So for example, we can do something like this for 15%. So of course this is not a good idea because it's very hard to see that it is, um, in fact, 15 squares out of 100 that have been shaded in. So this is not recommended. Because it can be a bit confusing to figure out what percentage was shaded in. Next up, we have 1%, so just one square out of 100. And finally, what happens if we o have over 100%? Well, we have a full grid, so this is 100%, and then 35% more, and it will look something like this. And again here, Here's a 35% in the second square, and the first square is completely full, so 100% there. Okay. We can also have a fraction or decimal of a percent. So for example, E, we have three quarters of a percent. So it might look something like this. So go, go ahead and fill in uh, three quarters of a single square. When we are looking at questions of this type, it's generally a good idea to indicate that's what's happening, so it's going to head, go ahead and use the arrow here. And again, we have three quarters of one square. Okay. 
which of course is equal to uh, one percent. So each square is one percent. Sorry about that. Okay, what if we have something like 20.8%? Then we can simply go ahead, have 20%, which is of course two rows of 10% each, and then 0.8%. So something that looks like this. So the question might be how much do we shade in here? There's of course a very mathematical way of sorting that out. So in this case, consider we have 0.8 of a percent, so that would be equal to 8 over 10, which is uh, 4 over 5 of, uh, of 1 square. Which is what we shaded in. So let's consider the next piece, which is um, given these grids here, uh, what percent does each diagram represent? So here we have a full square, so that's 100%. And then over here we have 35 more squares shaded in, so this would be 135% in total. Looks just like the example from above. Here, uh, only part of one square is shaded in, and that square was divided into 10 equal parts, seven of which is shaded in, so this would be, um, can be writ written as seven tenth of a percent, which is also 0 0.7 percent. And last one, uh, notice in this case, four rows of 10 are filled in, uh, and two more squares, so that's 42%. And then the final square, uh, five out of eight parts is filled in there, so this is five eighths percent. Yeah, so that's how we can interpret it, those diagrams there. representing percent in each statement in the grid. Uh, so uh, orange juice container shows that one 250 milliliter serving contains 120% of the daily recommended value, uh, sorry, recommended daily value of vitamin C. So simply put, this is what it looks like in a diagram. We have one completed uh, grid and then 20% more. So that's 100% on the left and 20% more on the right. So for a total of 120%. Okay. Next up, uh, a significant portion of the world's fresh water is found in Canada, but Canada only has 0.5% uh, of the world's population. So in this case, we can go ahead and shade in half of one square. Again, we can draw kind of a zoom in version on the side there. And this is again 0.5% or half a percent. Okay, last part, a credit card company charges an interest rate of 18 and 3 quarters percent on unpaid balances. So let's look at this one. We draw it this way. This is 10 percent, and then we have 8 percent more. And then the last square, we are going to fill in 3 quarters of that one. So it looks something like this. Again, we're just going to go ahead and draw a zoom in version of the same thing. 
make it look like that. Yeah, so once again, this is going to be 18 and 3 quarters percent. Okay, so that is how we use um, a 10 by 10 grid to represent percents. Uh, knowing that if it's ever over a 100%, we need additional grids. And in, if a number is less than 1%, we uh, shade in part of a square. And that's it for today, so thank you for listening.